Girl, get out of that bed and call me before I come over and pour water on you. <laughs> it's your pa. I'll talk to you later. Hey, Pa. I've been putting this off for almost two years now. How has it already been two years? I think I've mainly been putting it off because I know that it will feel even more real, you know? That you're actually gone. And then there's this part of me that feels kind of guilty that I didn't come visit you as soon as we got back from our trip. Mom kept telling me that I needed to get up there. That things were getting a little worse. And I would make up excuses in my head about being busy or not having the time to get up there. I was talking to a friend of mine not too long ago about how we think we don't have enough time to do things. Like, we're, we're just too busy all the time. And to be honest, it's just bullshit. We make the time for the important things. I thought I had plenty of time with you still. Years, to be honest. To this day, when I visit Ma, there's something inside of me that just hopes that you're going to be sitting in your chair, munching on one of your snacks when I walk through the door. Like nothing's changed. I don't think that will ever go away. Ma's doing pretty good. She's been keeping herself busy. Can't just show up to Greenbrier these days. She might be out shopping or having lunch with one of her friends. Cool, Ma, just pencil me in when you can. She's got Joy Club on Tuesdays, hair on Wednesdays, and church on Sundays. She's still watching her Lady Vols, too. When I told her I was playing basketball in a co-ed league, she perked right up and got all excited. She said she wished she could come watch, but we both know she's sound asleep before our, our games even start. We took her to Gatlinburg a few months after we lost you. She sure loves to shop. She was already planning our next trip back on the car ride home. I told her as long as we slept in separate rooms next time, because she kept me up all night with that snoring. I love that woman. She keeps me giggling. You did too. Mom and Dad are doing good. They're still escaping to the beach every chance they get. Mom really misses you. We say it all the time. We'll get to laughing at a funny story about you and then just sigh. I miss him. Brent's doing better these days. Though he has his ups and downs. Going back and forth with his music. I think he's staying clean too. I hope. He took it really hard when we lost you. You always had this next level kind of bond, you know? It's best buds, really. Me and Joe are still obsessing over Gus. Nothing new there. You sure would get a kick out of him, that goofy dog. Besides that, we're being the responsible adults that we are and trying to buy a house. I wish you were going to be here to show us how to fix everything that breaks, though. Because we both know my dad won't be able to. <laughs> I've been going through all your old VHS tapes since you've been gone. I'm finding out that we're alike in a lot of ways. <laughs> like, you were clearly the one in your group that was always filming everyone and everything. Whether they liked it or not. And that would be me. <laughs> Ma didn't seem to be a fan. Which is funny. Because Joe isn't either. I also learned how similar our fashion sense is. Speaking of that, I took some of your old clothes and watches. I hope you don't mind. I'm putting them to good use. I've also found a ton of videos that I'm in that I'd never seen before. I can't thank you enough for constantly recording us. Because of you, I'll get to show my future kids those videos. I'll get to show them how cool their great-grandpa was, too. So, to be honest, you really haven't missed all that much. But boy, have we missed you. Well, Miss Heather, we just got done watching your video, and that sure is cute. We sure are missing you, but uh, Ma's watching it now. I watched it, and we'll talk to you later, honey. We love you. Wish you were here. Bye-bye.
I went up to the front and I finally called him. I said, where are you? I lost my cane. <laughs> so he, he she was... She said, well, I'll go over and tell them if I find it. Mm -hmm. Well, I looked and, and I just pushed the buggy up there and there was my cane in the buggy. <laughs> <laughs> I called her back. I found it. <laughs> you in here cleaning? I'll show you. I'll show you it's done. Show you how it's done. Well, did you hear that racket? Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the way you do it. You just make a lot of racket. Make a lot of racket. Make them think you're doing something. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, My goodness. Yeah. That's a lot of chocolate. Okay. Who's laying eyes Digging. on how many minutes it takes to yeah, jump yeah. it? Take a, take a picture of it while they're all still in there. <laughs> so he can place. remember. <laughs> take one. So we can wait, wait, wait. Where's the time? You're so sparkly. Huh? We got some more goodies to eat. Mm. Well, we're good the usual. Yeah. That, one's, that smells good, Kim. Is it? You <laughs> like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me do this. <laughs> 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 I don't think I trust you. <laughs> Look at y'all just putting the food away. Love y'all. Love, Love you too, baby. Merry Christmas Eve. Y'all be, be careful now. We will.